So this is the economy version of the intestinal wall. Um, so what we have here is intestinal villi. These are finger-like projections that uh, increase the surface area. Over here would be your Big Mac, right? Broken down into nutrients, waiting to enter the blood. So this is where absorption takes place. Absorption is movement from the intestinal lumen, nutrients from the chyme have to go into the bloodstream. And then from the bloodstream, from these capillaries, it will be shipped to the liver to be detoxified and processed then to the heart. So within each villus, you have a capillary bed. That's where most of the nutrients will be absorbed. The nutrients obviously have to pass through this epithelial layer, right? So this is the simple columnar epithelium, and each one has little microvilli to further increase surface area. Most of these are the columnar cells with the blue nucleus. In between are goblet cells, mucus cells, producing mucus into the lumen. Here, in addition to having the capillary bed, you have the lacteal. Lacteal is part of the lymphatic system, but the lacteal will absorb some of the fats from the food that we eat. And then that will be uh, distributed into the lymphatic, and then ultimately the lymphatic will lead back to the heart and join the, the venous system. So all of this is what we refer to as mucosa. Then we have the thin muscle layer known as the muscularis mucosae. Then we have the submucosa, which is an open area for large uh, vessels, lymphatic and blood vessels and such. We then have the muscularis, and there's two layers here. And we can kind of see the, the fiber pattern of the cells, right? These fibers are running the length of the intestine, right? The intestine is a long tube. This is the tube, long tube. So this is the longitudinal. And then these we can see, you see the cross section of the fibers, the long fibers. Well, here's the cross section. So these are running around the tube. So these are the circular. And then the whole outside is covered with what's known as serosa. So here is your uh, loose areola connective tissue and then these would you be your simple squamous epithelial cells of the serosa okay. and this is the base and there's a little felt on the bottom